Uh, hi there. Sorry, I was having some issues with some of the um, the technology on my end, but hopefully this is working out. Uh, Facebook Live via my phone instead of my computer. Uh, hopefully we will get things sorted out for me next time we strive to uh, do this on my end. But um, we're going to see... Um, how we can make this work via mobile. Um, hopefully you can still uh, comment and um, I can get to your prayers as we uh, post from my place in Tigard and as we kind of connect and have a uh, time of uh, devotion and prayer uh, in our homes and uh, across Sherwood and the, uh, the greater metro area. So First of all, my name is Micah. For those of you who haven't seen me around church before, I'm the middle school director at uh, Countryside Community Church. And uh, just thank you for joining us this afternoon as we um, start uh, praying together and as we continue to just connect throughout uh, our areas, even though we can't meet on Sundays or in our regular gatherings. So first of all, um, if you do have prayer requests that you would like um, to have prayed for here right now, please comment those in the post and I'll uh, try to get to those as we uh, go forward with our time today. Um, and if you have prayer requests that you maybe don't want to post here, but you want to post online, I would appreciate you just go to countrysidechurch.com. We have a prayer page there. You can post private prayers. You can also post prayers that the staff can pray for and our prayer team can pray for. Um, and we're still doing that, even though we're not meeting face to face in the office. Uh, we are still meeting virtually, making sure that your needs are taken care of, making sure that we can uh, still pray for you because that's such an important part of the ministry that we are doing together. So there's a few things that have been um, on my heart. And as I share this uh, short devotional, um, I just want to you know remind you that uh, this and so many of the other things that we are doing um, with churches, things that you are doing at your homes, these are all things that um, we just want to see uh, the church, us, we want to see us going forward and continuing to do ministry, even though it's going to look a little bit different. So that's kind of what's been on my heart as we've navigated different things with youth ministry. And so one of the things that I've been dwelling on over the past week is new obstacles have come up. Um, obviously, our environments have changed. Our offices have become our you know living rooms more and more. Um, but one of the things that's been on my mind and my heart is that no matter where we are worshiping, um, no matter what difficulties confront us, we as the church, right, as the collected body of believers, uh, we, as it says in Romans 12, uh, we are in Christ, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others, right? No matter where we are, we all are part of the body of Christ. We are all in this together, and our situation may be different than we're used to. Um, it may be something that we're uncomfortable with or something that we're learning how to navigate still. Um, but our function as disciples and as our members of the body of Christ, as a branch of his church, um, we are still active. We are still called upon uh, to go forward and do the work. to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day 
approaching. Now, I just want to draw our attention to just a couple things within that verse that I think are so important for us, especially right now as we're navigating a different way of doing ministry. And first of all, um, just the idea of let us draw near to God with the full assurance that faith brings. Let us not be distracted. Let us not run away. Let us not hide. Rather, let us draw near to the one who loves us most, who we have confidence in our full assurance of faith. And also let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess for he who promised us is faithful. Let us hold unswervingly to that hope that we profess. In a time when a lot of people are scared or a lot of people are just unsure of what's next, uh, let us be confident in that hope. Let us profess it loudly because God who promised us, he is faithful to us and he will not let us down. And then it says, let us consider how we can spur one another on towards love and good deeds. Let's continue to see God at work through the people around us, through our community. And let us encourage and support each other and be his light and hope and to love our communities and the hurting. This is an opportunity not for us to not be involved in ministry more, but this is an opportunity for us to have the conversations with the neighbors, right? To call the people that we that have been on our minds, uh, to spread the word of the Lord uh, through our Facebook pages and through our phone calls and our texts. And even though it looks a little bit different these days, let us not give up meeting together. And that doesn't mean we all need to crowd into a place, but what that does mean is we can still disciple each other. We can still commune with each other virtually. We can be the church in our homes. We can be the church in our, on our phones, and in our prayer lives, in our connections with each other, and in the world around us. So as we pray for the church today, um, my heart is that through this, uh, God would be glorified through our church right now, and God through, would be glorified through our people going out um, in the virtual world, uh, making those phone calls, and just being the hands and feet of Jesus as actively as we can. I've seen so many examples of that from our community as uh, so far, and it's just been wonderful to see the needs that have been met, the people that have been prayed for, and everything that you are all doing, and we just hope that God is glorified through that. So continue putting your prayers in. I'm just going to start praying for our church uh, and for our community. And if you have prayers, please uh, stack them on here and we will, we will pray together. Okay, so pray with me. Father, as we navigate um, a situation which is unprecedented for most of us, God, and as we figure out what it looks like to be God's church, your church, uh, in this space. I just pray uh, that you would use your people mightily, that we would be willing to be your hands and feet, no matter where we are, no matter what capabilities we have, whether that means a phone call, whether that means delivering food to someone who can't uh, go shopping, God, whether that means uh, praying with people who are hurting. I just pray that wherever you would have us, God, wherever we are planted in our communities, that we would that we would love on people well, that we would be your hands and feet, um, and that you would be glorified in all that we are doing. Father, I pray for uh, the individuals uh, in our nation who are leading us um, as they hash out uh, what they're striving to do uh, in the midst of uh, this pandemic, God, as they are striving to lead us well. And no matter where we are politically, God, whether we're frustrated, whether we're extremely happy, um, whatever it is, God, I just pray that we would uh, just cross those boundaries and say, you know what, uh, this is a time for us to pray for people, right? This is a time for us to love people. This is a time when our leaders need support, when they need people uh, to rally behind them and hold them accountable, but pray for them and ask God to do a work in their life. So I just pray that you would do that, God, that you would be uh, in the lives of our leaders, that you would speak to them uh, that you would help them to lead us well um, and help them to navigate this uh, in a way that you see uh, that you see fit is within your will. We also pray for our safety and, and health of those who are still working with the public, God. 
um, thinking of all of the people who are providing essential services, people who are serving food and coffee and, and who are out in the community and our medical workers and everyone who is still striving uh, to uh, bring some normalcy to life, God. Um, and help the sick and to give us that cappuccino when we need it. All of those people, God, that are still interacting with the public, I just pray that you would keep them healthy, that you would keep them safe, that you would allow them to be wise um, in the way that they are handling uh, their, also, their social distancing and their being with people. So I just pray that you would keep them safe. Um, I also pray for uh, India and the other third world countries. Um, Brenda just shared that India started a 21-day lockdown yesterday, um, and most of the population in other world, third world countries live day-to-day -to, -day to eat, God, and a lot of them are, are so tightly packed together in their city centers that um, it is going to be incredibly difficult for them to stay healthy, and it's going to be incredibly difficult for them to, um, to live and to eat and to um, continue to survive, God. So I just pray that you would be at work there, that you would miraculously um, keep people safe and healthy, that you would provide food, that there would be relief efforts that would be successful there, um, and that people would ultimately be pointed to you in those places, and that those who are healthy can, can mobilize and assist and um, God, we just pray that you uh, are active in places like India and around the world who are going to be especially hard hit um, by this pandemic. Um, we also pray for the families um, of the healthcare workers who um, are supporting individuals who are working long hours and who are who are tired and people who are striving to um, keep their families safe as well as keep the public safe, God. And uh, we just pray that you would give them energy, that you would give them care, that you would give them an overwhelming sense of peace, um, and that you would care for the sick that are with them. And um, this is a tough time for for those who are scared in the hospitals and those who are uh, struggling uh, with this illness. And this is a tough time for those caring for them as they want to give uh, good care. They want to give holistic care to these individuals. And um, I just pray that they have the equipment, they have the energy um, to do so, and that they have the support system to help them through this, God. And for, we just want to lift up the people who are maybe um, just desperate at this time or really overwhelmed with fear. Pray that you would give them a sense of peace, one, but that you would turn them to Christ. This is a time where as we are mobilizing as the church and people are striving to reach out, um, this is a time where people might see their need for you more clearly. And I pray that you would bring people around those uh, who need you. And I pray that we would be able to witness to them. And I pray that uh, those who are scared, those who are feeling desperate, I pray that we would be able to just surround them, that you'd be in their lives, that we would be present, and that they would turn their hearts to you uh, so that uh, they can uh, have your peace, God, uh, as the Prince of Peace. And uh, just looking at Jane's prayer request, God, is uh, this is a time for us to listen to you. And I pray that we would do that well, that we would follow what you say for us to do right? That we would uh, take this time, even though it might be a little chaotic at home, or even though things are different, we would take this time to stop and listen for your voice amidst everything that is happening and all the craziness. God, you, you are our reason for living. You are on the throne, and we need to turn to you daily, listen to you daily, um, and constantly just be lifting our lives up to you and giving this situation over to you. God, I pray for uh, everyone who is active uh, in our community, everyone who is uh, active right now, even just thinking of the other countryside staffers and the different things they are doing in uh, churches and in communities around the world and around the in our community. God, I just pray that uh, you would consistently give them a heart to not grow weary, that we as the church would not grow weary of doing good, that we would not grow weary of spreading your word, that we would not grow weary of helping those around us, God. So in all these things, um, I just ask that we would persevere in our faith, God, uh, that you would give us a spirit of peace and not fear, 
and that we would use whatever online platforms, whatever social media platforms, whatever contact we're able to have with people, God, that we would use that uh, to further your kingdom and to point people to you. All right, everybody, that is about my time for today. Uh, If you have other prayer requests or things that you would like uh, to just connect with the staff about, please uh, contact us via the um, countrysidechurch.com. Go to the prayer request page. And on, stay strong out there. Um, and thank you so much for everything that all of you are doing already in our community. So have a great one. See you soon, hopefully. And uh, we are hoping to see you on Sunday morning. Join in on our live stream. It's going to be awesome. Bye, everybody.